Hey everyone, it's Ivan from KitBadger.com out here for another gear review and today we're talking knives. This one right here, which is the Principal by Gerber. What kind of knife is it? It's a cutting knife. Honestly, I think when it comes to kind of the application, I think largely just kind of a catch-all like outdoors, camp chore, kind of hiking knife at the end of the day. Nothing too crazy, even though we'll get into the sheath later. But ultimately, it uh, honestly feels nice in the hand. Some kind of cool features with it, and it cuts. But go over those features real quick. The knife features their zero Scandi grind, and the grip is actually over-molded rubber. It's actually really comfortable in the hand, even when it gets wet. And there's also holes, three different holes through the grip for lashing points and the spine of the knife actually is a 90 degree spine so you can go ahead and strike ferro rods something along those lines to start a fire with honestly this sheath i kind of feel like they basically found some lance corporal and we're like hey what would you like in a sheath and he's like well i want to carry it on my belt and i also want to carry it like horizontally on my belt so i can draw it out like a ninja and I want to be able to put it on my plate carrier. And they're like, all right, let's do this thing. And then they built the sheath. But as far as retention goes, basically this piece is retained in that hole in the knife. You can press your thumb, break it free. And also you have secondary retention with that Velcro tab right there. But in order to make all that stuff happen, this thing is just thick and clunky. Right here, you can put it on your belt if you want, which... I guess in fairness, easy to go on, easy to take off. And then you can do other things. I think I'm actually maybe even missing a piece that further comes out to where you carry this thing horizontally on your belt. And then you end up using these, pull some of the stuff off, and you can attach it to a plate carrier with pals webbing. Mm, no, thank you. You're like Ivan, kind of hard on it. I'll be the first person to say, I love all that awesome ninja stuff. Like, yeah, the boys and I watched Naruto. Stuff's great. Be really cool to have some sweet blade you pull out like horizontally. It's not very practical. And if I was gonna put something onto a plate carrier, honestly, it wouldn't be this knife. I'm sorry. So with all of that said, moving past the sheath, are there good things about this? Yeah, absolutely. It's a knife and it cuts. How have I used this? Well, aside from some backpacking trips, just kind of camp chores like whittling to include starting fires, which I guess is how this got so black. Other things I've done with it is after I headshot a deer, it was like the easy part's over. Now's the hard part. So I ended up taking this knife down and gutting it out and skinning it and actually did a really good job there's plenty of belly on this knife for that task and once this thing gets sharp it stays sharp for a while after skinning out that deer definitely wasn't too sharp after that but it got me through that task the knife measures about seven and a half inches and weighs about three and a half ounces steel is 420 hc i believe I know I'm being kind of hard on this knife, but on a certain level, like I appreciate just practical things and the sheath is not practical. And while it does have these sweet lanyard holes, has anyone ever been, you know what, I'm in a bad spot. I'm gonna take my one legitimate tool and instead of just sharpening a stick to make it into a spear, I'm gonna go ahead and lash my one blade onto a stick to make a spear out of it, ever. Has anyone ever did that? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I think lashing holes, like, I think they look kind of cool. And on a certain level, they might actually save weight. I don't know, because of the big grommet in there, because of the over molded handle. But I appreciate practical things. and. On its face, honestly, it's a good working knife. It cuts things, but the shield, or the shield, the sheath, kind of over the top for me. Ivan, I don't care what you say, I'm gonna buy one. Then buy one, I think you should. If you want a knife that has three different carrying options with the sheath, 
This is the one. I will say, in all fairness, all kidding aside, the handle, it's actually really comfortable. The over-molded handle and total functional blade. You have plenty of belly for skinning out a deer if you need to do that, and just camp chores and stuff like that. Price-wise, about 60 bucks. Is that expensive? I don't know. You could get four moras, but this one has three different sheath options for how you can carry it to include on your plate carrier. So you're in it about 120 bucks, and that way you can dual wield them. But 60 bucks, you can find them all kinds of different places. And again, all kidding aside, it's a good functional knife, and it's comfortable in the hand. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Get it. What are you doing? Come on. Yeah. You're crazy.